Hi guys, welcome back to Linsai Two One. Today we are going to begin a new section, set three, talking about phonology.、Um, before that, I have to tell you, this lecture recording may be the only one, only one recording for for this week, because I'm going to Stuttgart, Germany. To present a paper. Here is my name in the program. I'm going to present some.、Um, pa- I'm going to present a paper on some synthetic property of Mandarin Chinese. So I'll be there for one week, and I don't think I'll be able to. I'll try my best, but I I don't think I'm able to、uh, make a recording. In the hotel, maybe yes, maybe no, but don't be hopeful. So this may be the only recording.、Uh, in the meantime, I think you can you can do some reading. Okay, so、uh, let's begin today's today's lecture. Okay, set three point one for knowledge. In next lecture, we are going to talk about three concepts: phonemes, minimal pair, and the elephant. Before that, let's review、uh, phonetics. Phonetics studies the physical manifestation of language. Then, what does phonology study? Okay. Phonology studies the mental sound system of language.、Um, for example, not every consonant in a language can occur together, forming a consonant cluster. So, consonant cluster just means two、uh, adjacent consonants in a row. For example, in English, v and l, l, l sound cannot occur together. But f, f sound and l l sound can can do so. So English we can have fly, f, l together, but not v and l together. However, this sound there is not nothing wrong about this sound. If we can say fly, I don't think you have problem saying fly, right? Fly. Fly, fly, fly is okay, but I mean this sound, v, is uh is possible to pronounce. However, English just don't like this combination, and uh there's a mental rules governing this pattern. This is uh this. Falls into the study of phonology. Okay, we are going to talk about more phonological rules later. Okay,、um, we are going to talk about the first concepts. First concept, phoneme. Okay, before that, we can have we can watch this video. We said meh. Meh. Actually, this is a new word. I just learned learned this word meh. I made some uh, I made some manipulation of the pitch of meh, and then we have six different mehs. Let's listen to this. Very low, right? A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Meh. 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 
Okay. Um, we we just listened to six different meds, right? However, uh, however, you can tell that you know that these six different sounds have the have the same meaning, right? No matter uh, how do you say this word, you you are saying the same word, may. Okay. So. This means that uh, I'm using this symbol to uh, to indicate different pitch pitches. Okay, so we have six different uh, mates with different pitches. Okay, however, these six different sounds actually they are the same phoneme. Okay, we have different phones. However, they all map to they all map to one single phoneme. We use square brackets to indicate phones. Square brackets. And then we use slashes here to indicate phonemes. Okay. So um, if we think about this. Uh, actually, it makes perfect sense. Whenever you say a word, you are you are not going to say the word in the same manner twice. There must be some subtle difference each time. However, you know that, or you when you hear that, you know this different sounds means the same thing. And why is the same thing? The same thing is the same. Okay. okay, here is another example showing the difference between phones and phone names. Uh, we can have me, we can have me, this is the physical sounds, and these two physical sounds, in this case, they map to different phonemes. May map to this representation, and me maps to this representation. Okay, uh, let me emphasize that again. So slash means phoneme, and this is the mental sounds. Actually, we cannot hear this. All we can hear is this. Okay. Phonemes are the basic units of human uh, of language languages phonology. For example, we have these segments. They are all all phonemes, and phonemes can combine with each other to form words. Okay. And phoneme is the smallest contrastive unit. I have to emphasize this contrastive unit. Which will bring about a change of meaning. Okay, we're going to talk about this in the next slide. Uh, and phoneme is a mental representation. Okay. So contrastive forms. If we have contrastive forms, then we have different phonemes. So consider the following two English words. We have kite and night so the difference is this guy and right so these two different sounds makes these two words different so k and n are contrastive okay the only difference between the two words is the first phonemes okay they are different that they they makes the meaning different, so they are phonemes. Okay, uh, notice that we are not talking talking about orthography, because orthography is not the uh is not the real property of language. Some languages do not have written system at all. Okay, so if we change the first sound, uh, from 
cut to the nut, then we change the meaning. Okay. Um, so in order to tell whether two phones are different phone names, whether uh, in order to tell whether two phones are different phone names or not, we can use minimal pair. Okay. So what is minimal pair? Minimal pair are pair. Minimal pairs are pairs of words in a language that differ in only one segment and have distinct meanings. So uh, we have some English examples here. We have kite and night are minimal pairs. Only one segment difference. Right? Another another example, pen and pen. Okay. Pen and pen. A minimal pair as well. The vowels are different. Okay. Can you think of any other minimal pairs in English? Uh you have to be able to do so because uh at least you have to tell you have to be able to tell me what is a minimal pair and what is not because this will going to be in the English exercise. Okay. More example. Okay, we have pin and bin. Another vowel difference with bin and bin. And then we have uh, uh, the final consonant. F hat. And head, okay. And what else can be contrastive? So actually, in different languages, they use different different parameters are used. So, for example, Mandarin Chinese, a tone language, tones are contrastive. For example, uh, ma. Ma, ma, ma. These four words are different in their tone, in their tones, and we have different meanings. Okay, so in 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 the tone language, tone is contrastive. Okay. So uh, these four words are minimal pairs as well. Uh, yeah, okay. And what is contrastive is language specific. So, for example, tone in English will not be contrastive. We just saw the, we just listened to the six different names, right? May, may, different tone, di different pitches, actually similar to the situation. Uh, with different tones, but English is, is not a tone language. Okay. Um, for example, some languages use vowel lengths to uh, to be a phonemic feature. Okay. So in Australian English, these two words only differ in the vowel lengths. Okay. And in Japanese, consonant lens can be phonem phonemic as well. Okay, a double k sound and a single k sound, different meanings. Okay, uh, this is the final concept. Elephones. Okay. Um, phones are the actual sounds that we produce, okay? And phoneme is the mental representation. So a mental representation can be realized as different phones. And all the phones are the other phones of the same phoneme, okay? This may be abstract here, but I'll give you a concrete example okay 
So uh, listen to this one. Okay, and this one. Okay, the first third sound has no uh, aspiration. It pronounces stop, right? And the second, uh, second third sound, T sound, third sound. Okay, it's pronounced with an aspiration. It pronounces stop. It sounds like foreign foreign accent, right? And we use this uh, little H to to indicate aspiration. To indicate aspiration, okay? So even though we have, you can hear the difference, stop and stop, but you still think that these two sounds refer to the same word, right? So, um, T and T are the elephants of the same phoneme. Okay. And again, we use slashes to indicate phonemes and use square brackets to indicate uh, phones. Okay, if you want to use a chart to show the relationship without aspiration with aspiration, these two phones map to the same phone 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 name. Okay. Okay, in other words, we can say this guy and this guy are the same, are the elephants of the same forming of this guy. Okay, I can say these two guys because they are physical sounds, t and t, t and t. But I cannot say this one because it's not pronounceable, it's a mental representation. Okay. So uh, here's the summary. We talk about three stops here. A phoneme. Phoneme is the mental representation of sound. A minimal pair. Uh, pairs of words in a language that differ in only one segment and have distinct meanings. And elephants are different phones of the same phoneme. Okay. Thank you and see you next time in next week. <laughs>